In today's video, we're gonna be going over 10 things that we want in Dream League Soccer 2023. Cause believe it or not, Dream League Soccer 2023 is actually pretty close. So let's get right into it. The first thing we wanna see in Dream League Soccer 2023 is to have multiple attempts for cup events. As of right now, there are two types of events that shift every week, which are real team events and cup events. Real team events allow you to play with real life teams and they give you up to five entries each event. So if you don't win it the first time, you can try again and keep trying until you, you run out of entries. Now, this was not usually the case normally in events. You usually only get one entry, which you still only get in the cup style events. However, having multiple entries going over to the cup style events would be really, really solid. Another thing we want to see in Dream League Soccer 2023 are creative players. I feel like every year I, when I make this video, I always say creative players because they haven't put them in the game yet. So creative players could work the exact same way that they did in the previous Dream League Soccers, where you just buy them in the transfer market and you just put in their, your custom name, whatever create your own player and then you, they play on your team you, they upgrade with coaches as per normal however the newer dream league soccer is a lot different than the older dream league soccer which is why i think they need a little bit of a tweak if they want to implement creative players into the game one idea i had was having creative players be available in the transfer market at a pretty low rating or just in the season pass because the season pass still needs improvements i'm, I'm just saying and instead of coaching the creative player regularly like every other player maybe you could upgrade your creative player doing special challenges with that said creative player i mean they already added the daily challenges in dream league soccer 2022 so why can't they add a new challenge called creative player challenges where every day or so you know you do their daily challenge and then you upgrades the rating the more and more you complete those challenges i think that's a really solid way to implement creative players in the newer dream league soccer however they can do whatever they want if they decide to put them in but i think that they should add it and we all want them. Another thing we want in Dream League Soccer 2023 and I think what they should consider putting in is having real team cup events once in a while. I mean, so far the only real team events are the challenge style events where you have to win nine wins and uh, we only get three losses. However, what if you want to do a cup style event where you have to win four games in a row with zero losses, but with a real team event. When they originally announced this, I thought they were going to keep the regular schedule with like challenge and then cup and then challenge and cup for every week, but then sort of sprinkle in some real team events here here and there. I would like to see a real team cup event where I have to win four in a row without losing once. Another thing we want in Dream League Soccer 2023, and I think I discussed this in my previous uh, spring updates predictions, was a change to the recruitment facility. The recruitment facility was added in Dream League Soccer 2022. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know it exists because I don't know who would ever use it. It, it gives you a scout discount and an agent discount. Yeah, I don't know how useful that is. I really think there was a lot of missed potential with the recruitment facility. And I really hope they tweak it. Um, the one idea that I had before was to have uh, one extra player show up in the transfer market for every level um, of a recruitment facility. However, another thing that they could do is increase the ch overall chance that higher rate of players will come to your transfer market. So for example, if you want to get higher rate of players like 86 Messi to show up and it's gonna and you have to play a bunch of games and he doesn't show up, maybe the recruitment facility will increase the chance that higher rate the players will show up in the transfer market so you can buy them which ties in to the next point in the transfer market and having the ability to search for a player or just generally having more players in the transfer market i think a lot of people have been wanting that transfer market search button ever since dream league soccer 2020 was released just because they don't know whether or not a player exists or whether or not uh, like the player is good, like their rating and like, et cetera. They just wanna know some more information about players. Right now, you only get nine different players from each career mode game, and that doesn't really tell you much. You kinda just get lucky for what players show up. Now, I know the transfer market has been like this for three years now, so they're probably not gonna change it, but it's definitely something that we all want in Dream League Soccer 2023, and I thought I'd just put that in here. Another thing we want in Dream League Soccer 2023 is just some more customization with friendly matches and exhibition matches. So right now in a real team event, I can choose whatever team I want to play an event with and, and that's great. But I think what would be really awesome is if I would go to exhibition and I could play with any team I want. So any team that they have listed in a real team event, it's all there. All the teams are there in exhibition mode and I can play with whatever team that I want against whatever random team that it shows up in exhibition. And we could go even further, adding more custom settings into friendly matches and exhibition matches, like, you know, the match duration or even just like player speed or something like that. So this next one's pretty interesting and it can probably set them apart from every other mobile soccer game that there is on the App Store. Because what if Dream League Soccer had some more strategy? Because I mean, these days you just upgrade your team um, and then you get all the max players, the good players like Max Ronaldo, Messi, all those guys, and then you just play the game and then whoever's best wins right 
But what if you had some further strategy into having like custom perks with your managers? So players could be able to purchase managers from the transfer market or from maybe even just have them in season pass or something like that. Or you can just win them as sort of like manager agents in events. But have managers become sort of like players where they can improve your team except in a different way because they don't play. Maybe with a certain manager that increases everyone's speed by five stats or something like that. Or maybe another manager will give everybody on the team a plus one overall rating, like sort of like a form boost at all times. So that's just an extra thing for older players to have more progression because I feel like people have already got their max teams already. Um, as well as just adding more strategy to the game. Now, obviously, I don't think they're actually going to put this in. I'm just going to make this sort of my wish list feature for this video. Like, I mean, not a lot of people have been requesting this, but uh, I just want to throw that out there. Anyway, back to features that we all want and we could all agree on, and that is a coach that will uh, upgrade a player that we choose. In Dream League Soccer 2020, they made coaching random, which uh, got some mixed reviews, I will say, and I, I, do, th I do think it's fine but maybe just give other people an option, like a special option or a specialty coach to upgrade the player that you want. So this would be like a coach's plus that would be only available in like legendary form and like maybe exclusive to the season pass or exclusive to event wins, you know, sort of differentiating it from the other coaches. I mean, I keep saying that season pass needs some improvements. So if they add these specialty coaches or specialty agents that give you higher overall players in the season pass, that would be great. And then once you get these coaches that are pretty rare because you'd only be able to win them from events or season pass like that, then you can choose which players to upgrade and uh, yeah, and then just like the olden days basically. So another thing we all want is more formations. We are stuck with the regular 12 that we've had and we haven't had any more. I mean, those are pretty standard, but I feel like you can have some variations. This could be done by just adding another facility called training part two where you just get the other formations from. So before we get into the last feature that we want in Dream League Soccer 2023, I wanna do an honorable mention, which is getting a legendary coach from a releasing a legendary player. I started giving up on this because I'm pretty sure this is set in stone. You know, a lot of people have been wanting this. I mean, it, it would be great because they nerfed the coaches already. I mean, it, it's hard to progress in this game. But the final feature that we want in Dream League Star 2023 is probably just something new in the transfer market. They have specialty players right now that are just like specially developed um, and for that cost a million gems and you can honestly get a common player. And yeah, I don't know why they're still in the game. I don't know who buys them, but they're just a terrible deal. The one thing I could think of for these specialty players is have them be like Team of the Week or team of the season like in FIFA. So have them be one rating higher than their base rating and have it be permanent when you upgrade them. So say Messi does really well in a week and he becomes one of the specialty players, team of the week almost, he's 86 overall, but this week he'll be 87 overall and he'll be 87 overall forever if you bought him in that week. And then from 87, you'd be able to upgrade him to 97 and th there you have it. I, I think that would be okay. Anyway, that's be it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you are new. Let me know in the comments anything else you I missed and you would want to see in Dream Link Star 2023. Maybe I'll do another update prediction video closer to Dream League Soccer 2023 and uh, I'll put in some more of my input. Leave a like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. But that is 10 things we want to see in Dream League Soccer 2023. I could have said Bundesliga in this video, but I think my hope is kind of lost. 